How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and as you know canister shells are my favorite kind of firework. So we've actually got something really cool planned for you today. We're going to be scripting up a rack of canister shells and what I mean by that is we're actually going to be using the 72M module by Cobra Firing Systems. We're going to hook up this whole rack to it and actually if we can get a closer shot I can show you all the holes down here. So we can actually take the MJG wire, plug it right into each tube and fire these babies one at a time and you can script that up however you want it in a display. But today we're just going to be having some fun. These are the Nishiki Kimuro Maximum Blast Ultimate Force Canister Shells by Miracle Fireworks and if we can get an up close shot of this box I'll actually take a sleeve out and show it to you real quick on camera. So the only unfortunate part about these shells, even though they're cheap to get, like this was only a hundred bucks a box, um, they don't have a number on the shells, so you can't make your own number system, but they are labeled for effect. So that's great. When you're building a show, you either want that number with the effects on the box, or you want that effect right on the shell. So this is a 20 shot rack, so we're actually gonna need another one. So with a 24 shell kit, we're gonna be using four in a finale. They're all gonna go at the same time, and we'll show you how we script that out. But for the first 20 shells, we'll relatively fire them one at a time so you guys can see all the effects in the ultimate force shells by Miracle Fireworks. All right, so we're gonna try to put a delay here between the first 10 shells and the second batch of 10 shells, and this is how we're gonna do it. So you can see on the 10th shell here, we have 18 seconds is when the 10th one will go off. So we're just gonna go five seconds after that. The next 10 will hit, that will be one second apart. So we're just gonna type in 23 here, apply it, and then shell 11 will go off five seconds after shell 10. So there will be just a little bit of a delay there just so we can pace out our timing on that. And on these next 10 shells, we're just gonna do the same thing we did with shell one through 10 on 11 through 20. Okay, so remember we're using a 72M right now, so there's going to be four channels on there. So after Q18, we actually have to switch to channel two, right? Yep, and then go back to Q1. Okay. You're still on the 19th Q of the whole show. It's just the 72M is basically broke into four 18Ms. Yep. So right now we're just trying to put a delay between the last shell that is at one second timing before we hit the finale where all four shells go at the same time. We're just going to put a three second delay here. So if you want multiple things to fire at the exact same time, you'll just put in the same exact duration or event time. So okay. there's four shells, so I just created four event times that just replicated it. Okay. I'm just gonna go two, two, two all the way down the line, and it automatically filled in the queue. So as you can see, all 24 shells are now hooked up on the script. So we have to put the shell on a USB now. Again, eject, and then we'll put it onto the remote. And then all you do with that USB is just plug it right into the 18R2 remote just like that and we're ready to fire all right so we're out here we got everything set up and ready to go as you can see bank b here is actually channel two so on the 18r2 remote that'll show channel two right there we have those two hits before the four shots on the finale one we got green on 18. all green all green look at that all right guys we are ready to fire the 24 canister shells out of these racks Remember we have four shots going up for the finale and we have two different paces over here. We've got 10 shells going at two seconds and the other 10 shells going at one second. See if we can pace that out a little bit. It's not blinking anymore. And channel one, and we had set Kay. Q1 as the trigger channel. Yep. So here we go. Is this the delay? Okay. Wow, look at those willows. <laughs> oh, there's our finale. Oh man, that was perfect pacing. Literally perfect. So check out all the burning embers over there. As you can see, both mortar racks survived and so did the 72M. This is an awesome system. I cannot believe we were able to do that with this 24 rack of canister shells. And I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.